Ractopamin is a feed additive to promote leanness in animals raised for their meat. Pharmacologically, it is a beta adrenergic agonist. It is the active ingredient in products known as pyline for swine and octafelix for cattle, developed by Elanco Animal Health, a division of Eli Lilly and Company, for use in food animals for growth promotion. Ractopamin use has been banned in most countries, including the European Union, mainland China and Russia while 27 other countries, such as Japan, the United States, Canada, and South Korea, have deemed meat from livestock fed ractopamin safe for human consumption. Commercial ractopamin is a mixture of all four possible stereoisomers. Mode of action, when used as a food additive, ractopamin added to feed can be distributed via the blood to the muscle tissues, where it serves as a full agonist at mouse TAAR1. A cascade of events will then be initiated to increase protein synthesis, which results in increased muscle fiber size. Ractopamin is known to increase the rate of weight gain, improve feed efficiency, and increase carcass leanness in finishing swine. Its use in finishing swine yields about 3 kg of additional lean pork and improves feed efficiency by 10%. Regulation around the world As of 2015 ractopamin use as a feed additive is authorized in the United States, Canada, and Mexico. The American Institute in Taiwan claims that these, and many other countries have determined that meat from animals fed ractopamin is safe for human consumption. In the U.S., ractopamin is allowed to be used at a feed concentration of 5 euro 20 mg per kilogram feed for finishing pigs and in dosages of 5 euro 10 mg per kilogram feed for finishing pigs heavier than 109 kg. The maximum residue limit for ractopamin for meat in the USA is 50 ppb. In Canada, Ractopamin is only allowed in meal or pellet feed for finishing barrows and gilts, confined finishing cattle, and finishing heavy turkeys. Japan, which had permitted its feed additive use at least until 2009, and South Korea only allow import of meat with ractopamin residues up to the maximum residue limit, but do not permit its use in beef production. On July 6, 2012, the International Reference Standard Codex Alimentarius Commission narrowly approved the adoption of a maximum residue limit of 10 parts per billion for muscle cuts of beef and pork. Setting any limit was a controversial move. Countries with major meat export markets had been lobbying for the establishment of such a standard for several years in order to use it as leverage to erode individual national level bans in World Trade Organization disputes. Consumers International a world federation of consumer groups that represents 220 consumer organizations in 115 countries, strongly oppose the move. As of 2013 ractopamin use in food animals has been banned in over 160 countries. Has not been allowed in the 27 member countries of the European Union, based on the 2009 European Food Safety Authority's opinion on its safety evaluation which concluded that available data were insufficient to derive a maximum residue limit as a safe residue level for human consumption. This was particularly the case in relation to subgroups of people with some cardiovascular diseases or children, who may be more susceptible to adverse events from I-squared adrenergic stimulation, and that simply increasing the uncertainty factor would rapidly become arbitrary. Russia and China banned ractopamin in pork, and Russia also in beef deeming it unfit for human consumption. Taiwan banned ractopamin along with other beetle adrenergic agonists in October 2006, but in 2012 its legislature passed amendments to the Act Governing Food Sanitation, authorizing government agencies to set safety standards for ractopamin. The Department of Health ultimately established a maximum residual level of 10 ppb for ractopamin in beef on July 31, 2012. Human use and route of exposure, ractopamin is not for use in humans for any medical purposes. The more probable route of exposure to ractopamin in humans is through the consumption of food animals which have been fed ractopamin and its residue remains. Pharmacokinetics in humans, a study was conducted to define the pharmacological response of humans to ractopamin. A single oral dose of 40 mg of ractopamin hydrochloride was given to human volunteers. The drug was rapidly absorbed. 
the mean blood plasma half-life was around 4 hours and it was not detected in plasma 24 hours after dosing. Less than 5% of total ractopamine excreted represented the parent drug, while the urinary metabolites were monoglucuronide and monosulfate conjugates, with ractopamine monosulfate being the major metabolite present. The metabolic fate of ractopamine hydrochloride is similar in the target species, laboratory animals, and humans. Besides the pharmacology effect, ractopamine may cause intoxication effect. Therefore, any consumption by humans of a meat and or byproducts of animals that consumed ractopamine with feed for growth stimulation, may result in such clinical effects as tachycardia and other heart rate increases, tremor, headache, muscle spasm, or high arterial blood pressure. The effect of ractopamine on humans is not entirely known, but consumption of products that contain ractopamine residues is not advisable to people with cardiovascular diseases. Safety concerns equals target animal safety equals ractopamine is safe for finishing pigs heavier than 240 pounds when administered in the diet at concentrations up to 10 ppm and fed for up to 35 days however the number of ractopamine hydrochloride euro treated animals exhibiting signs of injury increased during the final drive to slaughter since the drug was introduced more than 160,000 pigs taking ractopamine were reported to have suffered adverse effects as of March 2011, according to a review of FDA records. The drug has triggered more adverse reports in pigs than any other animal drug on the market. Pigs suffered from hyperactivity, trembling, broken limbs, inability to walk and death, according to FDA reports released under a Freedom of Information Act request. FDA, Colorado State University Professor of Animal Science Temple Grandin, an expert on animal welfare says that she has personally seen harmful effects of ractopamine on feedlot animals, such as cattle with stiff, sore, and lame limbs and symptoms of heat stress, and has stated that some cattle have lost feet due to extreme ractopamine overdoses. She also asserts that meat from ractopamine treated animals is tougher. Some show lambs have been illegally given ractopamine either intentionally or due to accidental contamination of their feed. Adverse effects equals acute toxicity equals oral LD50 levels in mice and rats are 35 47 a euro 25 45 milligrams per kilogram body weight and 474 a euro 365 respectively equals genotoxicity and mutagenicity equals mutation studies in prokaryotes and eukaryotes show that ractopamine is not mutagenic however the results of several in vitro studies including chromosome aberration tests in human lymphocytes, are positive. The positive genotoxic results are explained with limited evidence to be due to a secondary auto-oxidative mechanism from ractopamine catechol producing reactive intermediates. Equals carcinogenicity equals, ractopamine is not considered to be a carcinogen and not listed by IARC, NTP, ACGIH, or OSHA. The observation benign leomumas in mice and rats could be due to a general feature of beta adrenergic activity of ractopamine. Equals cardiovascular effects equals, dose dependent changes of heart rate and cardiac output are observed within the first hour after administration of ractopamine and gradually return to baseline values. The systolic blood pressure will also increase in a dose dependent manner, while the diastolic pressure remains unchanged equals musculoskeletal effects equals skeletal muscle tremor is the most common adverse effect of beta agonists and is more likely to be seen after oral administration than after inhalation tremor results from an imbalance between fast and slow twitch muscle groups of the extremities and its severity varies greatly between individuals no such effects were recorded at the NOEL determined in the toxicological studies conducted in laboratory animals given ractopamine or in the study in humans on cardiovascular effects of ractopamine. Equals behavioral changes in humans equals, restlessness, apprehension, and anxiety were reported effects after the use of various beta agonists, particularly after oral or parenteral treatment. In pilot clinical trials with ractopamine, Four patients showed little evidence for central nervous system stimulation. 
it is unclear whether long-term treatment with these drugs results in the development of tolerance to these adverse effects. Analytical method for residues in meat, the determinative procedure for the analysis of ractopamine residues in tissue can be performed, using liver or muscle as the target tissues, by high-performance liquid chromatography with fluorescence detection. The confirmatory method include reversed phase HPLC electrospray ionization triple tandem quadrupole mass spectrometry. The limit of quantification of the drug using this LC miss instrument was shown to be 1 NGG. International controversies. Equals mainland China equals in July 2007, officials of the People's Republic of China seized US produced pork for containing ractopamine residues. Further shipments of ractopamine fed pork were seized in September, though this time they were Canadian in origin. Equals Taiwan equals, ractopamine has been banned in Taiwan since 2006. In the summer of 2007, two U.S. shipments including ractopamine laced pork were rejected by Taiwan's health authorities, while the Taiwan government had been considering lifting the ban on such imports. This resulted in mass protests in the capital city. Taipei, by swine farmers insisting that the ban remain in place. Health Minister Hu Shengmo declared there would be no lifting of the ban unless related laws were amended. In August 2012, Taiwan's legislature passed amendments to the Food Safety Act allowing ractopamine in beef. Equals Malaysia equals, according to the Malaysian Food Act 1983 and regulations, ractopamine is allowed in pig muscle and fat, pig liver and pig kidney. Ractopamine is allowed as its half-life is lower, leading to reduced residues in the food, and the dose required to affect humans is much higher than other beta agonists. On December 30, 2008, the Malaysian Veterinary Services Department quarantined 10 of the 656 pig farms in Malaysia, as the livestock were found to contain the banned chemical. Equals Russia equals, the use of ractopamine in Russia is prohibited. On June 6, 2011, the Russian Ministry of Agriculture notified key meat import exporters in Russia of a future prohibition of ractopamine in meat imported to Russia. On December 7, 2012, the prohibition went into force, and pork and beef export to Russia required submission of compliance certificates confirming absence of ractopamine in exported meat. Comparison to clenbuterol, similar to ractopamine, clenbuterol is a growth promoting compound belonging to the beta agonist family. It is known to have the effect of enhancing weight gain in proportion of muscle to fat. However, clenbuterol is known to have a much longer half-life in blood than ractopamine, thus has a greater potential for bioaccumulation. Clenbuterol is reported to induce unintended side effects on humans, such as increased heart rate, muscular tremors, headache, nausea, fever, and chills. The US FDA has concluded these side effects to be unacceptable. The use of clenbuterol in food animals has been prohibited in almost all countries, including the USA, Canada, Taiwan, and Hong Kong. See also, beta-2 adrenergic receptor agonist, list of veterinary drugs. References External links, Ractopamine page, Ractopamine study.